What's going on guys? Welcome back to Sean Dimension and today we're going to go over resin figures from Eddie Keys. And if you don't know who Eddie is, he's been tattooing for 21 years, he's a painter, he's a muralist, and he owns a tattoo shop called Raw Power in Philadelphia. So more recently he's been into making toys, and I talked to him on the phone the other day, and right off the bat I can just tell he has an obsessive personality, and especially for this kind of thing, that's really important. You want to go all the way in and you want to really know what you're doing. So I'm just really excited and fortunate to have his toys in today. So let's go over these soon. I'm just, I think the direction he's heading is really great. He even has an exclusive with DKE toys coming up, which is insane. So I'm just really excited. So let's go over these toys. So this one, this first, I guess this is the series called Weed Wars. And this is the, uh, the Imperial Bong Blaster. May the choice be with you. So I guess when you're working for the Empire, it's a tough job, so this is not a bad thing to have on you at all times. It can be very stressful. But it's like I said, like this whole toy mashing, kind of bootleg, uh, casting your own toys and resin thing is so cool because you can just do it on your own terms. You can make as many as you want, any colors you want. Man, I mean, what more can you say? It's just really cool. Oh, this guy's cool too. I actually remember this dude from the movie and uh, didn't have this body, so I'm pretty sure this was a, a, like an android. So it's cool to see it on a different body. And it's the first time I've seen somebody make like a translucent cape too, which is neat. This one's not Imperial Bong Blaster, but kind of seems like he still has something going on here. But uh, this is really cool, man. Like I said, these are made by Eddie Keys. It's an adult toy, designer toy art toy, whatever you want to call it, choice nugs, we have, I'm going through these series and we have some other series too today, so, and this translucent cape actually looks really rad too, so I think this other guy was also like a droid in the Star Wars series, I don't think he was a bounty hunter, but I could be wrong, yeah, these just look so incredible. I think I have, oh, I have a couple more. So here we go. Here's a, I think these are like a, it's a, a snow trooper from Hoth, I believe. Got his little pack ready to go. He has his cape on. I just, oh man, this is just so cool. Like I said, you can just do whatever you want with these kind of things. Give them new arms, give them a new torso, give them a new foot if you want to. May the choice be with you, the choice is yours. These are really great. And like I said, I'm excited to see what else he's producing. Um, I'm going to drop his link in the bottom, his Instagram, his website, because already the new stuff he's making is like really cool. So uh, I think he's going to send me another box soon. So I'll be able to show you guys some of the new stuff he's working on. So yeah, man, Eddie, you're doing great, dude. This is amazing. I love whenever I see translucent stuff too. Like, look at that. I just think that looks so cool. All right, so the next little series we have today is the Toxic Cosmic Cavus uh, Crusher, excuse me. And we have this uh, crazy looking dude. All right. Yeah, the detail, and it's crazy that resin can pick up detail like this whenever you make the mold. I think that's really awesome. And uh, obviously really important whenever you're making stuff like this because you want it to look as nice as it can. And obviously there's more techniques that you can do to make stuff even more polished if you want to. So like I said, guys, even like the new stuff that he's making is incredible. And it says a resin toy from an intergalactic forbidden planet. Eddie Keys, and this is actually his Instagram for the actual toys, Resin Blood. That's his personal, I believe. So follow Resin Blood if you want to see all the other stuff that he's been doing with these toys. <laughs> they look so sick. And we have a blue version of that fella. Nice. I actually, I usually know where the toys come from, but I actually don't know where this comes from. Kind of looks like Dracula, but I don't know. I could be absolutely wrong. But it doesn't matter because this looks incredible either way. Look at that mug. I believe yeah we have one more color in that this is the teal version nice like I said guys the detail on these is just really cool 
I'm just like, I, I don't know, this stuff just never ceases to amaze me. I feel like this is blowing up the whole um, bootleg resin toy thing because like I said, like not everybody has money to drop a few thousand just on a mold alone for a vinyl toy and then you're gonna wait six months to a year to get the toy and you have to make so many so this is a great 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 alternative and it's on your own terms like I said whatever colors you want hand paint them spray paint them whatever the possibilities are actually endless I was gonna make a joke but really they are endless and I have a couple uh, cardstock backing ones to show you. Personally, these are kind of like my favorite just because you do your own artwork in the background, which I think is really cool. So this is like a, he calls this one the Crimson Vader. It's obviously the skull from the Misfits. There we go, yeah, Misfit Space Mutant. And look at this guy, he has his little cape. As well, I think those are so cool. I, uh, and one thing I like about this kind of stuff is I don't know how they did it. Obviously, like I imagine him cutting it out, but I don't know what material that is. Oh, nice. Look at this uh, Misfit Darth Vader mashup. That's awesome. I want to see that toy. Which actually, low key, I think this is this toy. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's check out the back. Handmade by Eddie Keys. Once again, we have Resin Blood. Follow Resin Blood if you want to follow his toys. First run. Here we go. One off. Crimson Vader. Oh, for Drew. For Drew, baby. That's awesome. This is sick, man. I wanted to save these for last because I like the bag toys as well. I actually, I can't say which one I like more or less than the other. But I can really appreciate these because a lot of people... Um, so this is the Savage Dawn one he did. But a lot of people frame these actually, or they just like hang them up on the wall, but I actually like to see them framed. I think it looks really nice. So this is the Savage Dawn Striker action figure. See? And I think he has like a little synopsis on the back of it on why he decided to make this. I think he went into a drive-in movie. Yeah, he went into a, oh no. Or he bought a, a Blu-ray from uh, Mahoning Drive-In Theater one trip after realizing the main characters of the movie starred in it and was excited to watch it. And then after seeing the movie, I had realized nobody has ever made a toy for this flick. So that's why Stry uh, Striker exists in your hands today. And made by Sir Eddie Keys. And I really enjoyed talking to him. Like I said, guys, his whole thought process on this whole toy thing is really great because he has a lot of movie knowledge, which is really important for this kind of stuff too, especially if you want to do stuff more cinematic, um, you know, without just like random, uh, mashing random toys together. So it's cool that he has like a back story information on everything, which is cool. Just adds to everything. And I think this artwork is so cool. So these are all the toys that I have to show for you guys today. I'm looking forward to the relationship with Sir Eddie Keys. I know he's gonna send some more stuff to me soon, so I'll definitely have it on the show. Remember to like and subscribe this page if you like what you see, because there are more toy videos coming up. I have boxes and boxes of toys, but with not all the time in the world, so I will get them out soon, I promise. I just wanted to do stuff like this first because I just think it's cool. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. We have more toy videos coming soon, more trading card videos, more art videos, more everything videos. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Sean Dimension. I do IGTV and giveaways. So yeah, have a great day. Thank you for watching. And once again, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.